This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you the difference between trimming and cropping a video clip in Apple Final Cut Pro. Who asks, would you explain the difference between trim and crop, especially when you compare it to Photoshop? Here I have an image of a sunset on the top layer and something blue on the bottom layer, so it's easy to see where one layer ends and the other starts. We can trim or crop an image in one of two ways. Select the clip, go to the inspector, and go to the crop menu. This gives us all kinds of precision, but for speed, let's just put that away and work with something a little bit easier. In the low left corner of the viewer is this downward pointing arrow, and when you click it, you can select crop. This displays a series of blue boxes around the edge of an image, and I found that when the image is tight to the viewer, like it is here, there's no gap, it's really hard to grab those stupid blue icons. So I'm going to change the view to 50% to make it smaller. And now the icons are easy to access. There's three options, Trim, Crop, and Ken Burns. I'm going to talk about Ken Burns in just a couple of minutes. Let's start with Trim. When I select Trim and grab a corner, I am masking in Photoshop terms. I am making portions of the clip invisible, but I'm not changing its size. I can change which part I'm masking by clicking inside here and dragging it wherever I want, but basically Trim leaves the image size alone and just hides portions of it. What portions are hidden depend upon what you're dragging. When you're done with the framing of that clip, click Done, and you now have a trimmed clip in the viewer. Let's undo that. And this time we're going to go back to here, and we're going to select Crop. And this time I'm going to click on Crop. And notice the icons change. The sidebars are gone, and we only have the corners. Now when I drag this up to crop the image and click Done, the image is resized to fill the frame. Trim does not change the size of the image and leaves transparent sections, a Photoshop mask. Crop changes the size of the frame to fill the size of your project file with no transparent edges. Because making a picture larger, especially a digital picture larger, always decreases its image quality, makes it more pixelated or blurry. I tend to avoid cropping, but I use trimming a lot. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 301. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.